I, I think testimonies are really awesome. You know, the, the, the cool thing about this is, as Nathan touched on this, but this is just coming out of us sharing stories with each other, right? And our faith was being built up as we spoke to each other and we, we, we prayed with each other. And, um, and so this is an overflow of that. But you know what? I was just thinking this. How often do we not share these things with each other, right? You'll have people over at your house for dinner, right, at, from church, and, and you'll just make small talk, and you don't share, like, the amazing things that God is doing in your life. You just talk about the weather and the, your hobbies and the things you're into when you could be sharing this kind of stuff, right? I know you guys have stories like this, and um, so I just wanted to share one more. You know, we've already seen prophecy fulfilled, right? This morning, we've words from the Lord, guidance, healing. And so I wanted to share another story of healing that happened in my own life, um, but a little bit different. So about three years ago, uh, this is in December, 2019. And uh, so this is right before, right before COVID and all of 2020 happened. And I was in the worst depression that I had ever been in my entire life. The, the whole month of December, I was just in a hole. And depression is something that I struggled with my entire life. And I didn't realize it until like my 20s, you know, that I had struggled with it when I was a teenager and, and stuff. But um, it was something that I struggled with my entire life. And so this month in December was the worst it had ever been. And just to give you some context of what had been going on, this is at the same time that uh, my wife had just taken her trip to New York. And for those of you who don't know the story, the story is she was there. And while she was in New York, she felt like she was supposed to pray over this man there, this homeless man. And she didn't do it. She just passed on, came back on a plane back to Arizona. Well, when she got back and she was praying, it was very clear the Lord was calling her to go back to New York and find that man. And if you want to talk to her about that story, it's an amazing story. I don't have time to go through it. But what I was doing was sitting at home being miserable. And I wasn't sleeping very well. Nothing was going well. And so when she got back, one night we were, were talking and praying with each other very late at night. And Heather said to me that she saw above my head this undulating black uh, blanket and and that she saw me taking it off and throwing it and that that's what I needed to do and so I'm just going to be honest my first thought when I heard her say that was like that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard <laughs> like my, my first thought was to, to look at the Bible and be like that's, that's not in here I don't see that happening anywhere. But the thing is, if you look at the way that Jesus did miracles and all these different miracles in the Bible, no two are the same. Jesus spit in the mud and put mud on a guy's eyes, right? That's honestly weirder. And then he told him to go and wash, right? Another guy, go wash seven times. Another guy, he asked him, do you want to get well? There's each of these things, there's like this action, right? This, this, you have to take a step of faith. Like, do you actually want it? And so I didn't do it right away. And I, I sat there praying and um, my wife went to bed and I'm just up by myself for hours. And when I knew that she was definitely sleeping and not going to hear me, I did exactly what she told me to do. <laughs> and I said, I, I rebuke you, spirit of depression, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I took it off. And in that moment, it was the most peace and clarity that I've ever felt from the deepest, darkest hole that I've ever been in not a single positive thought, everything was wrong, to peace and clarity of mind and just, I just feel the Holy Spirit. 
And there's nothing, there's nothing magic about that. All I did was obey God. All I did was obey what she saw God telling me to do. There's not, there's not some action that's, okay, this is now going to do this for you. But the reason that I, I want to share this story is to increase your faith. But also because some of you know what your next step is. You, you know that like right now God is calling you to take the next step in some way. And you may think it's dumb. It may not be a miracle. It may be forgiving somebody. You may need to forgive your mom. You, may, you should just walk out into the lobby and make a call right now. Like whatever your next step is, that's what I'm encouraging you to do because that's stepping out in faith.